Hi, my name is Najiha. Hello, my name is Ani Maisara. Industrial building system is defined as structural building component that are manufactured in a factory or on off-site and transported and assembled into structures with minimal additional site work. According to IBS roadmap, in 2003, they stated as in Malaysia, Construction Industry Development Center or known as CIDB has categorized IBS system into five categories. Those are generally used in construction industry, which are first, precast concrete framing, panel and box system. Second, steel formwork system. Third, steel framing system. Fourth, prefabricated timber framing system. And lastly, block work system. The steel formwork system does not require any heavy machinery or high technology. So, it is suitable for the construction project which want to reduce the unskilled labor. From what system used as a mold with a wet concrete port into it and act as a temporary support for the structure. It is also can increase the level of accuracy of the design, the quality of the product and the time taken to finish the construction project. Characteristic for IBS system is uh, is known by IBS is an industrial production of component to prefabrication or sometimes highly mechanized in, in situ processes such as permanent steel form works and tunnel forms. Next, uh, IBS also reduce labor during prefabrication of component and site works. Third, IBS is a modern design and manufacturing method involving information technology such as computer added design and computer added manufacturing. Fourth, IBS use a systematic quality control such as ISO 9000 principle. And lastly, IBS is a open building concept which is uh, it is permitting hybrid application and adaptable to standardization and MC. MC is known as a modular coordination which is a system which allows uh, the production of building component by various factories and to be compatible with each other to be used in any construction building project. Based on the research analysis by Muhammad Ashraf and Muhammad Fadi 2017, there are six provisions that the local standard form of contract enabling it to tailor with the IBS construction. First, definitions of unfixed material and goods. For all Malaysian standard form of contract, PWD and PEM, the unfixed material and goods need to be on site. Meanwhile, all the international standard form of contract acknowledge that the unfixed material and goods can be on-site or off-site. Second, evaluations of interim payment. Current standard form of contract was not suitable for RBS project because payment to IBS manufacturers will only be met upon delivery of the component to the site, not when the precast component were being manufactured. Third, inspection testing of material, goods and equipment. Most of the international standard form of contract allow the inspection testing of material, goods and equipment of the work can be done even though the work are not incorporated. The local standard form of contract is in line with the international form of contract in this aspect. Fourth, insurance or bond. PWD and PEM require the contractor to take insurance or bond for the unfixed material on-site but not for unfixed material off-site. If submissions of off-site supervision report. For IBS approach, most of the fabrications work are done off-site. Therefore, monitoring off-site is considered crucial to ensure the contractor manage to fabricate and deliver 
diabetes component based on the stimulate time, cost, and quality. Extensions of time. In PAM 2006, there is provisions for EOT stated that if there are civil commotions, strict or lockout affecting any of the trade employed upon the work or any trade engaged in the preparations, manufacture or transportation of any material and goods required for the work. Workers play important roles in safety and health in order to prevent accidents from happening during installations of the IBS structure. This is the list of safety that need to be considered from the construction worker during the installations of the IBS constructions. First, wear a proper personal protective equipment. Second, all the plan and equipment that to be used during the installations of the IBS structures need to be checked and approved by the authorities. Hook and lifting for the IBS component need to be strong enough in order to prevent the component from fall. When installing the IBS component, the procedure need to be met the requirement directed by the CIDB. The company should appoint skilled worker to ensure that the IBS construction is run smoothly. Safety officers are to be performed the daily routines including monitoring the construction site every day. Communications among workers are also important during the ongoing constructions. Precautions such as sandbox need to be located in order to minimize the accident to be happen. Using IBS has broad benefits to contractor and it is very economical to be used in construction projects. So, according to CIDB 2003, it stated that using IBS has many advantages to be used compared to the use of conventional method. So, these are the benefits of IBS. The first point is it lessens the construction time. So, using IBS lessens the construction time because the material is precast and is made from factory. The components will only need to be attached on the side. The second point is cost savings. It is known as cost savings since the framework material are made of steel, aluminium, and other materials that allow it to be used many times which lead to cost savings. The third point is saving in labor costs. IBS will only be done by machines in factory, where the use of labor will be reduced and lead to saving in labor costs. The fourth point is labor working on site. The erection of IBS companies need specialist labor to do the work. This can also lessen the number of labor working on the site to reduce the number of accidents that might occur on the site. Lastly, it is not affected by weather. The operation of construction using IBS will lessen the time since it is not going to be affected by weather compared to other methods since the component is done in factory and only be erect on the site later. Although there are a lot of advantages of using IBS, but there are also limitations of using this method. Nothing in this world is perfect, so do as using IBS. So these are the challenges of using IBS. The first point is higher initial costs. 
IBS are known to have highly initial costs compared to conventional method, where this cost includes the casting bags, cost constructing at the factory, and machineries. The second point is it is very sensitive. The erection of IBS can be very sensitive since this method might occur some error if there are the joints is not being erect carefully. Often, the problem in IBS joints are water leakage between the joints. This problem occurs in Malaysia since rainy occur rapidly throughout the year. The third point is it needs skilled operators. The erections of components will need skilled operators which it leads to increase in cost. large plants and machineries. IPS will also need a large working area for plants and machineries, such as power crane, storage, and trailers to bring the IPS components into the site. Mostly construction sites often congested and fail to provide the area required. In IPS system, uh, they still use the same uh, material as traditional construction process which is concrete, wood, block and brick but the main component in IBS system is column, roof brace, beam, slab and staircase. There are five sequences in IBS process which is first architect and engineering will design the standard uh, size and requirement of IBS that will be used on the construction site. So the design drawing will be sent into the factory to be uh, on the production line. So when the pro when the IBS form is ready to be used, production line will send and delivery them to site. So, uh, on site, they will assemble and erect, uh, and do erection process. And lastly, uh, it will form into a final unit of IBS building. So, uh, basically, the summary of uh, these sequences is five stages of sequence. First, design process. Second, um, production line. Third, delivery to site. Fourth, uh, assemble an erection and lastly, form into a final unit of IBS. So these are the examples of IBS. Precast concrete. It is proven that pre-stressed concrete half slab, which considered as high-end product of precast concrete, which simplified and expedited the construction of low slab, which is it is very critical activity in the construction process. It is very adaptable to all other systems, including conventional, which makes it a very popular IBS component. It is highly demanded for all types of building construction. Next is formwork. It is proven plastic formwork using material of high strength plastic as formwork. It's a green building material unlike metal formwork. It is very light and requires less capacity cram for handling. The in-situ concrete does not stick to the surface of the formwork which makes the end product of the surface very smooth and ensure good 
quality for the subsequent finishes work. Next is block work. PGC produced proven interlocking engineering block and brick. The proven interlocking engineering block is designed as loading bearing wall system. It can easily be installed like Lego system and transferred into do-it-yourself DIY. The proven interlocking bricks can be utilized as a load bearing wall system as well as infill. Both products are installer friendly, fast and easily laid vertically resulting in quality finishes wall. Next is Innovative IBS. It proven that IBF can achieve a minimum IBS score of 70% and above. The minimum IBS score is a must and an important requirement to implement government projects. Also, proven IBS products have minimum wastage as such they are added advantage if used in the construction of green and sustainable building projects as needed for a low carbon society. Proven factories production for IBS components, two production lines for engineering blocks and one full production half of free stress half slab is currently running at 60% capacity of equivalent supplying IBS component for 2,000 units of equivalent affordable houses per year. At maximum, 100% capacity is capable of supplying 2,800 units. Regular inspections means to check or examine the building structures conducted by the construction worker. Inspections carried out regularly, such as weekly or monthly, and inspections help to identify hazards or processes that are not working efficiently and decide what the measures to take before they lead to an accident or incident. Building repair or replacing It is the work undertaken to restore, replace, or improve damage or defect of the building structure. It is to keep the building in a good condition and improve safety. Performing cleaning activities to clean the exterior and interior area of the building. In a nutshell, industrialized building system is a construction process that utilizes techniques, products, components, or building system which involve mainly the prefabricated components and on-site installations. Successful and effective implementation of IBS in Malaysia construction industry can offer various benefits compared to conventional in-situ system. Those are the speed of construction, less wastage of materials, which means cost savings, reduction of unskilled workers, better quality control of constructions, increased site cleanliness and safety in construction projects. These are very important aspects in achieving the efficient and effective construction industry which will enhance the market share of construction industry as well as contributing to the Malaysian economy. The government has done a lot of efforts to enhance the current conventional labor-intensive activities to a more technologically advanced method of construction such as by developing the industrialized building system through the Construction Industry Development Board. The government had effort in creating the first and second IBS roadmap to put Malaysia construction industry in producing fast, cost-effective and high-quality construction products and able to compete with the global construction market.